Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're gonna solve another lab from own labs and in this video we're gonna solve the loot public EBS snapshots lab. So let me okay so I have already selected this lab and let's play it and the lab is on. EBS is a service and EBS stands for elastic block store and here we have an entry point AWS credentials like access key and secret access key. So here we have a scenario that the huge uh, logistics uh, titan in their industry has invited you to stimulate an assume breach scenario. They are handing you the keys to their kingdom. Even the basic AWS credential of a fresh intern. So I think these credentials are belong to this intern user. Okay. And your mission uh, should you choose to accept it is to navigate that intricate cloud maze starting from the humble entry and gain situational awareness identify weak spots and test the waters to see how far you can elevate your access so can you navigate this digital labyrinth and prove that even the smallest breach can pose significant threats the challenge is set and the game is on i think we all are ready to tackle this challenge. Great. And here we have a lab prerequisites that some basic Linux command line knowledge is required. And the learning outcomes. So this lab really tests your understanding of the AWS CLI and will use commands related to the IAM service and S3. Therefore, familiarity with the IAM service and policy reading can definitely be helpful. So difficulty is beginner and focus is red team and here we have a real world context that when creating an ami that is amazon machine image uh, from an amazon elastic block store that is ebs back ec2 instance so what happened underneath the hood is that aws create snapshot of the ebs volumes attached to the instance these snapshots are then associated with the ami and the EBS snapshots can be used to provide point in time recovery of EBS volumes, which is useful if we need to revert your data to a previous state and can also be used to transfer data across AWS regions and accounts. So if the EBS, AMI and snapshots are new to you, uh, I've created some notes for you. So let me share it. So the EBS or the elastic block store is a block storage service in AWS allowing you to create and attach storage volumes to your EC2 instances. And EBS volumes are persistent and can be used for data storage. And they are often used for the root file system of EC2 instances or as additional data storage. So basically it's a type of storage service. Next up we have AMI that is Amazon Machine Image. And AMI is a pre-configured image used to create EC2 instances and it includes the operating systems, application software and any associated data. So it is just a blueprint of your EC2 instance. Next up we have snapshot. EBS snapshot is a backup of an EBS volume at a specific point in time. And snapshots are used to protect data and can be used to create new EBS volumes. They are incremental, that means they only store the changes since the last snapshots, making them efficient. So this is just an overview of the service, uh, but if you want to learn more, you guys can definitely check out the AWS official documentation. So let's start our enumeration. First, we have to configure these threads. So let me copy the access key and open my Kali Linux. So I've already created this lab2 folder. So let me write AWS configure. And let's provide the access key. Let me copy the secret access key. We don't know the region and the default output format is none. Okay, 
so we have successfully configured the credential and let's see the user identity with the help of our get caller identity command we have actually seen this command in our first lab right i hope you guys remember this okay this so this is an intern user okay and this is the arn that is amazon resource name of this user here we have the user account id and the account id great so this information shows that we are currently working within the aws im user profile called intern so one of the first step is to find out whether there are any policies attached to this user profile so for that we will use this command uh, let me clear the screen right aws iam that it is a iam service list attached user policies and we have to provide the username in our case the username is intern right so let's hit enter and here we have this policy and the policy name is public snapper and now let's see the version of this policy by writing aws im get policy command get policy policy arn and we have to provide this policy arn copy it and paste it here and let's hit enter okay so the policy name is public snapper we already know the policy id is this arn we already know the version is 7 great is attachable true great now let's get the detail of this policy so for that we will use aws im get policy version and we have to provide the policy arn i have already copied the arn and the version id is 7 right we have seen this here the default version id is 7 right okay let me hit enter and we have got this policy just give me a second so basically these are the set of rules for username intern in aws so this intern can look at the details of a specific snapshot as you guys can see here this is a specific snapshot and intern can also see information about any snapshot here like resource is star uh, easy to describe snapshot here it is allowing multiple action so this intern user can get policy version get policy and list attached users policies okay we have already seen this now we know that we have two more permission one is for looking at a specific EBS snapshot and another one is looking at all EBS snapshots. The star means all. Uh, that means anyone with this permission can see all the snapshots in our AWS account. Okay, let me clear the screen first. Right, AWS EC2 describe snapshots owner IDs. AWS EC2 describe snapshots and owner IDs. And we have to provide the account id and let's hit enter you must specify a region okay for that we will use the region us east one great hit enter 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 just press q to end it and let's see So this is a snapshot information and the description is created by create image for AMI. Okay, the encrypted is false. So the data, so the snapshot is not encrypted. Owner ID, this is our account ID. Progress is 100% and we have found the snapshot ID. Great. We also have the volume ID and the volume size is 8 GB these are the tags 
store HDR is standard. Great. Let me just copy the snapshot ID. Okay, this is our snapshot ID. So now we have found the snapshot ID. So we have to check like who has the permission to create volume permission, right? So let's let me just clear this screen. Write e AWS EC2 describe snapshots attribute and the attribute is create volume permission and we have to provide the snapshot id snapshot id i have already copied it here so you don't have to write the quotes okay the command is aws ec2 so the service is ec2 and we are described snapshots attribute and the attribute type is create volume permission we are checking like we have uh, this create volume permission or not and we have provided the snapshot id so let's hit enter oops okay i've mistyped something let me clear the screen and it should be snap shot not snapshots okay i'm sorry my bad let's hit enter okay you must specify a region uh, region is us east one okay as you guys can see the create volume permission is set to all uh, this reveal that uh, it is publicly accessible snapshot and any AWS user will be able to create a volume from this public snapshot into their AWS account. That's great. And it is also important to note that this snapshot is not encrypted. So the data in it can be easily accessed. So let me log into my AWS account. AWS console. It's gonna be fun. So I have already logged in to my AWS account. Uh, let's go to EC2 service. Click on snapshots. As you guys can see here, we have snapshot. And in this drop down, we have. To select the public snapshots click on that and in the search write the snapshot ID is equal to and let me copy this ID paste it here and let's search yes it is publicly accessible snapshot as you guys can see here uh, the description is created created by create image we have seen this in the policy description as well so it was created on monday june 12 2023 and you guys can see the time here it's showing me in the indian standard time and the volume id is this in encryption you guys can see not encrypted great so we are seeing two problems here the first one is it is publicly accessible right and the second one is it is not encrypted now let's click on this action and create a volume from the snapshot agb availability zone is us east 1a so let me write it here az is us east 1a okay so this is not an encrypted volume so i'm not gonna click on this the encrypt this volume i want to check the details so let's create the volume and click on this volumes option here and you guys can see we have created this volume select this sorry select this volume state is available that's great so we have successfully created the volume now we have to launch an ec2 instance click on this ec2 dashboard click on launch instance 
and I'm gonna name this instance as EBS uh, secret I'm happy with this OS Amazon Linux AMI Amazon machine image okay uh, free tier eligible instance type t2 micro great uh, key pair proceed without a key pair and in the network setting you have to click on edit and in the subnet you have to select the same availability zone that is us east 1a okay click on that uh, ssh anywhere i'm happy with this configuration make sure uh, you selected the subnet like same availability zone as our volume okay so let's launch this instance it's in a pending state okay i'm gonna go to my volumes dashboard and select the volume click on action and click on attach volume in instance select as you guys can see the EBS secret is there and it is in a running state Dave SDF great now let's attach this volume okay so the EC2 is in a running state let me connect to our EC2 instance connect that is the reason I didn't download the key pair let's connect now we have to discover the secrets uh, let me just close this and oops now we have to write the lsblk command that is for list block and let's hit enter and as you guys can see we have this virtual block device you know after attaching an ebs that is elastic block store volume to our ec2 instance uh, you typically need to mount the volume to make it accessible for use within the instance so for that matter we have to create a mount point so I will write mkdir let me clear the screen mkdir disk and now we have to write sudo now we are root okay we have to use the mount command so the mount command is a linux command and it is used to mount the file systems and after that we have to write hyphen t ext4 uh, this part specifies the file system type of the device you are mounting uh, in this case it is specifying that the file system is ext4 uh, which is a common linux file system by the way and now we have to mount this file that is dev x vdf one so this will be the source device that you want to mount and this one at the end indicates the partition number so it is referring to the uh, first partition of the volume now we have to write disk it is a target directory now let's hit enter okay i'm inside this directory now let's run it again let's go to the cd disk and write ls hyphen al oops let's go to the home directory uh, cd home clear the screen ls hyphen al and as you guys can see we have this intern user let's go to intern write ls hyphen al okay great so we have profile.ssh and the, this practice files uh, let's go to this folder that is practice files hit enter let me clear the screen write ls let me write ls hyphen al and we have this s3 download files dot php let's get it uh, s3 download okay 
okay so as you guys can see we have got some juicy information here <laughs> the im key it is our access key and the secret access key and here we got the bucket name that is ecorp client data uh, required use aws s3 client so this is a script okay so let me first copy this and let's paste it in our notes ecorp client data this is a this will be our bucket name great so let me configure the keys AWS configure okay copy the secret key copy the secret key and the default region is same okay so let's see who we are now we are now the dev test user that's great we have also got the bucket names ecorp client data so let me copy it and we'll access this by using the same command that is aws s3 ls provide the bucket name here we go we have got this ecorp logistics dot csv file and the flag.txt great let me clear the screen okay now we have to copy it so let's write aws s3 cp command s s3 and we have to provide the bucket name ecorp client data and let me copy this and i want this data in my current directory okay is it downloaded yes same command just change the name from ecorp logistic csv to flag.txt txt great now we have got this data let me cat the ecorp first okay great mm -hmm. id ecorp primary location break glass password secure safe pin tape consignment number so it's a sensitive information great now let's cat our flag flag.txt and let me copy it and let's submit the flag congrats you have successfully completed the challenge that's great they've also created a very great blog and my recommendation is to you just don't copy paste all these things understand the learning like why we are doing this why we are performing this step so these are my uh, notes okay step by step like is there any public is there any policy attached get the policy view the policy this is how you can understand the commands like when we have to use these types of command in the real time pen testing obviously so let's see some defense step it is also important the first one is snapshot security like aws provide the capabilities to create snapshots of your ebs volumes and snapshots can be valuable part of your data backup and recovery strategy to enhance the security it is crucial to regularly view or review and adjust the permission associated with these snapshots by default snapshots are private but if not configured correctly they can be made public which pose a significant security risk we have seen that right so ensure that the only authorized im users or roles have the necessary permissions to create delete and modify the snapshots and create the volume next up we have credential rotation we all know that regularly changing access keys and passwords is a fundamental security practice in aws 
so implement a policy for rotating access keys and passwords on a regular basis to minimize the risk of unauthorized access uh, due to compromised credentials next up we have encryption we have seen the ebs volume and the snapshot was not encrypted and data encryption is a critical component of aws security right aws offer various encryption options for security data at rest and in transit we can encrypt the ebs volume using aws key management service that is kms and you can choose between server side encryption with kms keys or customer managed keys for control and we have also seen though s3 data is not encrypted so make sure that we provide encryption to our s3 resources and ebs volume next up we have s3 bucket access s3 buckets are often used to store a wide range of data we know and we have to ensure the proper access control to prevent data leaks and breaches so we have to check or review the permission and the policies associated with your s3 bucket ensure they are not publicly accessible unless it is intentionally or necessary uh, but utilize bucket policies and access control lists to restrict access to specific users role or aws account and the last one we have the avoid hard coding so we have seen in the php script they have hard coded the aws credentials hard coding credentials or secrets in your application code as a significant security risk so if the code is exposed or compromised the credential become accessible to potential attackers so instead of hard coding credential use secure methods like environment variable or uh, configuration files that are separate from the code base and aws provide the service called aws secret manager to securely store uh, and uh, manage sensitive information so in short, these defense practices are essential for maintaining the security of your AWS environment. And so before we end this video, let me just quickly go to my EC2 instance. Okay, it is running. Just click on that. Terminate the instance. Let's go to the volumes. Click on action. Detach volume. Detach. First, you have to detach the volume and then you can terminate the EC2 instance. Okay, I don't want this volume as well. Delete the volume. Delete. Okay, now I don't have any volumes. And in snapshots, we know that it is publicly available snapshots. We haven't created the snapshot, so let me close it. Owned by me. I don't have any snapshots great and yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you like it if you did then please share this video with your friends and your colleagues and make sure that you guys are subscribing to my youtube channel we'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning Bye bye